What's up guys, Cloudy here, checking in with our Zero to Hero on EU series where I managed to procrastinate for another two days, basically not doing much or any progress at all except for maybe clearing Trial of Flow 5, which was a quite epic battle because I needed to do so much juggling around with uh, defensive stats because well, the best thing about Black Dragon gear now is that it doesn't roll any defensive stats, so it was kind of hard to um, gear our supports to be not murderized by uh, Sekmaha, that's his name I think, and also for Lorraine not to die or not to overtake them in defense and become the tank. But after some some uh, shuffling around we managed to clear uh, stage 5 flow, so I'm quite happy with that. Now, um, speaking of Lorraine, we managed to scrape together a few more selectors and we should definitely try and keep going with her, try and get her to like uh, 5 star finally, that would be really nice, so let's see, we have one here that we can use and it would be really 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 lovely if she managed to go up. So let's see, let's start with that. So we have Mama Lorraine and her uh, unique weapon. That's on 22% fair bonus now guys. Ah. Let's see. Please be kind to us Jin. It would be so nice now. We need other stuff to go up to. Nope. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, hmm, hmm. Now you guys wanted to see uh, what my build is like. So this is her main stats, really. As you can see, it's mainly focused on attack. She has like zero crit chance, no crit damage, a little bit of penetration, which is like coming from one line and the rune. Um, and basically that's it. Her stats are all in all focused on attack. She doesn't have any runes because she doesn't crit that much anyway with that 10% and she doesn't need crit damage for her dot either and her build is like this is what I'm using she doesn't need a crit chance from this I, I like to have this one because a lot of monsters have shields in chapter 9 and I believe chapter 10 had some too plus I use her in other places where this dispel is nice and of course the important part is the improved boss damage so that's basically the, her build now one thing I wanted to show before we go on breaking stuff on her unique weapon was her soul weapon. So after doing Eclipse we had a, a mission to upgrade the soul weapon once, which I did, and the rest will follow tomorrow when uh, Vespa kindly nerf is the Eater cost, that will be really nice. I mean the gold cost in the Eater enhancement, not the Eaters themselves. And the other mission there was to rearrange stats, and we had those tickets from from the uh, the weekend logins and look at this guys this is what we got 69 percent um roll towards attack and then a bonus roll of 17.3 percent and i got this in like six tickets so i still have 14 left which is pretty cool i have to tell you guys i don't have a roll like this on my main none of my main characters has, has a soul weapon like this so it's like oh god i and it even has some extra hp there for for the record um, so yeah, that was pretty lucky and now I just wish we, we were able to like upgrade her soul weapon. I think we should, or a unique weapon, not soul weapon. We have like three more selectors, but we really need to make progress with Ezekiel and also Fallen Frey. Because her shield is not holding in a lot of places now and uh, if we do not get her more attack then we will be having a bad time. So um, I think we should have like... 25% fair bonus now, so I guess we can just try and go one by one and hopefully one day Jin will bless us with a 5 star unique weapon. Alright, uh, complain and you shall receive guys. There you go, 5 star Lorraine. Freaking finally, I thought I was going crazy here. So yeah, okay, okay, that's good stuff. We have a 5 star Lorraine, which is before actually the end of the two week uh, beginner period so I guess in the end it's not too bad and wow you look at that attack we went up all the way to 740k attack uh, I can't wait to actually try this one um, all right so we have two more selectors what should we do with our two more selectors we have a fair bonus on uh, Ezekiel so let's try one on Ezekiel maybe we can have some luck with him too three star Ezekiel and uh, yeah some so last time I was talking about how I have been tasked to tell you that Ezekiel is not good there 
uh, keyword was tossed actually so not my own opinion in many runs he's actually outdoing Lorraine especially the fast ones where she doesn't have time to stack up her poisons and of course Ezekiel is a kind of character that needs to be built to be really sh uh, shining or to really shine but uh, I do not think he's bad at all I think he's doing all right okay he's doing well okay guys okay uh, so yeah, I think he is actually pretty decent and for his investment level he's already performing some fairly well, sometimes outperforming Lorraine. Not everywhere, especially not in, in the long fights, but yeah, he can be pretty good. And um, we have one more. We can do one more. Let's do one more. Um, where was it? Assassin. But wait, he's 3 star now and we would need 2. Yeah, well, I wanted to do Fallen Fray. I'm confusing myself. Yeah, so we also need to get Fallen Frey to like 4 star because her shields with a 2 star uh, unique weapon, no soul weapon, they are not really holding for now. So yeah, that's that's one of the projects that, that we need to do. We need to get her to like 500k attack or even more before she starts uh, really, really giving us uh, good shields that will not be breaking left and right. And that's when our life gets better. Um, hmm, I'm speechless guys. I, I swear to you, my main never does this. It never happens that I'm like one tapping 24, eh, well it's not one tapping, I already had one fail bonus, so almost one tapping, but <laughs> like seriously. Oh god. Um, Bra, if you could see me now. This is, this is for you. I might have stolen your luck somehow, I don't know how. Okay, at least we failed that. We can live with that. Um. We have some unique treasure selectors, and that one I think we're gonna focus full on Frey because she needs the cooldown reduction on her S2 uh, just to get. I think I'm gonna try to get her to like four star first before we go back to like Ezekiel, who gains boss damage from his UT. And Lorraine's UT is not that great, I think, because it just gives like a, a bit of amp and it doesn't scale too high. Unless I'm like misunderstanding, oh my god, what's this? all these green runes, death, crit, ACC, wow. Crit damage block and crit damage attack speed, hmm, alright, well, whatever. So I think we're gonna use all of these on Fallen Frey now, uh, trying to get her to like 4 star, it would be really nice if I could actually find it, probably should have just like um, sorted it for characters that we own. So yeah, once she gets to 4-star drop time and her shields become like quite decent. Even at actually 5-star you kind of want a cooldown reduction a skill or line on her, either artifact or, or one of the new Technomagic lines, because that really helps her maintain her uh, shield without dropping it in the middle of a fight, so that's kind of nice. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Let's try the same way. Uh, let's be totally believers in such things. Wow, it was already 3-star. I'm forgetting the stuff that I'm having, guys. Okay, well, we don't have one more here, so we'll not be able to do this. If it fails... It fails, okay. I guess our luck ran out, but still, it's it's a good, good uh, progress that we had here. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm quite happy night right now. In case you haven't noticed, uh, sadly, so the uh, uh, what is it called? Guild conquest season has ended, and we didn't receive enough fragments for an artifact. We still do not have a DPS artifact, which reminds me, we got some stuff to open. So let's start with the good old um, Manticore gear. Nope. Nope. I guess we should get at least enough fodder to craft our first piece now, so... Um, nope. Because we have been buying these tier... all, all the Manticore boxes actually, it's, it's the main thing that we buy from the guild shop now, because we are hoping to get some decent gear, well that's at least one attack line. Attack, crit damage, but we don't really have... Um, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, nothing attack speed, recovery, well this could be good for like um, trial of flow. That's a nope, nope, okay, more fragments or boxes. 
And yeah, you can see we also have like a lot of soul weapon fragments, like 500 for wizards. So we could, I think, get already a second uh, soul weapon for uh, attack, attack speed. That's like not even too bad. Could be like a double attack speed roll. Um, so yeah, if we do flow, then we could get a second soul weapon and then we just need one more. I'm not sure what I want to do with the old ones yet because uh, we might want to get one either for Fallen Frey or Ezekiel. So, hmm. Okay, I think we opened everything that we could. Let's see what can we like grind from these at the start. Well, we can definitely grind the weapons because we're not going to be using uh, any Manticore weapons. I like to hoard the other pieces because if you get a good drop then you want to like uh, upgrade them ASAP. Maybe not these ones because we don't really use um, rings in that many specific content. It's either usually um, earrings or specific defense gear. But we have uh, 34 and I think we needed like 25. So yeah, 25. So we can craft one piece or one of these selectors and we can use it for like an earring. We can try to roll one earring with this with like double attack and with some luck we will get a, a good stat in the third slot. But even if not, it's probably worth to keep and then uh, try and build a full set with like three attack options in all lines and then whatever the last one is. So let's see what we get. Lifesteal ACC. Well, neither of these is really important. Lifesteal is like okay-ish. Not really... well, it could have been better. It could have been like penetration or whatever. It's alright, it's a starting piece. We just need like three more and then we have a full set for someone. So we'll have to roll with that and then we can start crafting duplicate earrings, which then will be like alright-ish. Mm, okay, and one other thing that we really do not have is actually um, artifacts. We still do not have a single DPS artifact. That's why I'm so sad that we did not get enough Velkazar fragments because the patch tomorrow will have a new DPS artifact and it looks like quite decent. Okay, seal chain. We're gonna be PvP mains now, I guess. And that seems like a decent artifact. It has like boss damage, not boss damage, non-hero damage and like the damage dealt. So and plus extra defense. Wowee, dice of magical letters. <laughs> well, I mean, hmm. it could be okay. I guess um, in fights where, where little necklace is not great, we, uh, we will be running this, but uh, well, yeah, okay. We still didn't get too lucky with the artifacts themselves. Um, one day we will have enough, um, what you call it, fragments. Because our fragments to get them, and well, we are almost done with the uh, the jumping order. We have like one more unique treasure ticket from this one, some essences. That's not even that interesting, and we have the other one that should give us uh, some old fragments, and and that's it really. That's all that we we have left to do. So, and of course, we still need to like venture into chapter ten and finally get around to. Um, do all the stuff there, claim us some, some mission rewards and stuff like that. So basically this is where we are right now guys, um, collecting rubies as we are, or so ventured into Platinum League in PvP, we feel, we feel so OP, and yeah, we can continue from there. So um, yeah, that's it for today with our Lorraine build, finally, finally she hit uh, uh, five star. I can't wait to get her all the way up to plus 15. Tomorrow in a couple hours it's almost reset here in Europe and then a few more hours till the maintenance which will bring us pets and all the stuff and after that well after that we can get her to plus 15 and see how far she gets with that. Of course the basic soul weapon doesn't get a giant improvement even from going to, to, to higher levels but we will be collecting her soul weapon and then hopefully A2 her soonish. 
So, okay, I think I have said that's it like three times already, but it's really it for now, guys. Uh, this has been cloudy for today. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below as usually, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.